My friends, today we are going south of the border with a low carb chicken enchilada skillet. Hang on, cause this is sure to be delicious. friends and welcome to The Simple Sober Life. I am Joshua and I help others make small changes to uh, create a life of awesome. Welcome my friends, it's Sunday and it's another low carb recipe day. Um, I was actually sent this by a friend of mine. It's a low carb chicken enchilada skillet and it sounds absolutely incredible. And I was reading the uh, recipe and it literally takes no time at all. It's five minutes for prep, 10 for cooking, and in 15 minutes, you were supposed to have a hearty, delicious skillet that I can divide up for the rest of the week. It's gonna be low carb. I'll have my meals prepped out so there will be no thinking about it. So simple. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's involved. My friends, for this low carb chicken enchilada skillet, we're gonna need cooked cubed chicken, about two cups of uh, uh, finely chopped cauliflower, third cup of cilantro, tomatoes with chilies, some Mexican cheese, some olive oil. We're also gonna need um, chili powder, oregano, garlic powder, and ground cumin. We're gonna start off by adding some olive oil to a pan and letting that heat up. Once our oil is heated up, we'll go ahead and throw in our cauliflower and we'll saute that for about two minutes. Quick little story while that, uh, while that cauliflower is sauteing. So I made a, um, an enchil low carb enchilada dish. This was a couple of months ago and it called for cumin, like most Tex-Mex recipes do. And so I was going through my sister's spices and pulling out all the different things I need. And I pull out what I think is cumin. And so I'm prepping and I'm making all the stuff and then it comes to adding the spices and I start throwing in the different spices and you know I never measure anything. And I poured in what I thought was cumin. And then immediately it hits my nose, my senses. I'm like, that's a little Christmassy for, for cumin. What is that? And I, I check it out and I grab the bottle from whence it came and it was cinnamon. I'm like, oh God, what did I do? I just ruined this entire meal. And I'd already stirred it in, so I couldn't like try and scoop any of it out to try and salvage it. And I'm like, oh man. But look at these bottles. This one is cinnamon, this one is cumin. They look exactly the same. They both start with C. I don't know who the marketer, marketer is behind this, but they should not be putting spices that look identical in the same container. It makes no sense. I know, I know. Ah, you need to learn how to read. Yeah, I get it. But I mean, really, wouldn't you think that cumin might be in an orange or more, you know, um, a, a, a adobe type color, while cinnamon could be in black. Just makes kind of makes sense to me. But all in all, the meal was terrible. It was awful. All I could taste was the cinnamon. But I ate it for the rest of the week. <laughs> so this is my new. Um, attempt at making low carb enchiladas or a low carb enchilada dish and I am making sure to grab the cumin. I'm gonna throw this one away. Anyway, back to the cauliflower. With that cauliflower all simmered, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients except for the cheese. So we're gonna add the chicken. We're gonna take about half of our cilantro and throw it in there. 
the tomatoes and chilies, garlic powder, chili powder, oregano, and cumin. And we'll give that a little toss. I love the smell of cumin and cilantro, forget about it. Those colors are really nice too. They work well together. Now once that's heated through and all the liquid has been absorbed and the cauliflower is kind of a reddish color, then we're gonna throw in about half of the amount of cheese that we need. We're gonna stir that in and we're gonna reduce our heat to low. We'll just let it sit there for about a minute. And after about a minute when all that cheese is melted, we're gonna top it off with some more cheese. Yeah, just throw it all in there. We'll add the rest of our cilantro. We'll turn off the heat and cover it. We'll just let that sit there for about another minute until that cheese is uh, all melted on top and we should be good to go. Once that cheese is melted on the top, you are ready to eat this low carb chicken enchilada skillet. Man, it looks good. I can't wait to grab a bite. All right, my friends, now for the real taste test. There was such a quick and easy recipe. It really did take probably about 20 minutes. Now, a little behind the scenes um, notation. I did, um, cook, I baked up the chicken beforehand. I had everything prepped and ready to go so that I wouldn't be doing that on camera. So I cooked the chicken for about 20 minutes at 350 in the oven and made sure to uh, chop up the parsley and the cauliflower. This recipe, I didn't use the regular cauliflower rice. Um, I used fresh cauliflower. I just threw it in a processor, let it finely chop up and used that. But I'm sure that you could pr probably definitely use that cauliflower rice if you wanted to. Toss it in the microwave for a couple of minutes, throw, it in this, throw everything together and you'd be good to go. So let's make sure to get some of those tomatoes and the cheese. I like how the cheese kind of strings, huh? That tastes just like an enchilada. That is really good. Throw a little dollop of sour cream on there and you would be good to go. You're gonna like this, my friends, I promise. My friends, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell when you subscribe. I put out low carb uh, meal prep videos every week. It just helps with the body, the mind, the soul. And comment down below. I'm always looking for new recipes, so I would love to know what your favorite low carb recipe is. Thanks again, my friends. Take care. Cheesy. <laughs>